Hey everyone, it's Vickerman and welcome back to Crete, where the Sheik Philippos, an Ashkenazi Jew who happens to be lord of a county of Crete, continues his ambition to, you know, survive. <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough game, I'm sure you can tell, but we are, uh, we're continuing on. We have a new son named Prophetess, and perhaps when he takes over, things may be different. Let's check out the world. I haven't really spent much time on that before. Uh, Aquitaine is still strong. Well, ish. Rebellions of some kind there. West Francia. Still going. Germany here. Uh, Italy. Burgundy. Bavaria. So we've got a pretty divided uh, Europe there. So we don't have the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, maybe we will at some point, but I don't know. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Uh, you can see that up north, everything's all divided up and but down here, where we live, things are remarkably stable. Especially the Abbasid Empire, which is a little, a little annoying at times. So is the Byzantines. So we need a little instability for us to get our way. So now, uh, last time we've been watching the levees here for Amir Aiken. And, uh, yeah, so we'll watch the levies, and sometimes when there's a rebellion or something, all of his levies are called up, and, well, that would give us a good time to strike. That would require our Grand Vizier, who is our son, to fabricate a claim by then, because we have lost our strong claims to that territory. So... We'll have to wait. I I think we'll get it, because he has a pretty darn high diplomacy, as is the nature of our family. Ah, Polonius, who is my nephew, needs to be educated. He is inbred, so, well, I don't really care that much about him. Maybe we'll have him be a learned man. That could work. So we're just kind of waiting on our son to make us a claim here, and we've got plenty of cash, so I would imagine that we could hire some mercenaries. Oh. Amir Aiken killed his wife. No, wait, that's not him. He didn't do that. His wife was killed by somebody. And he has another. Or maybe he had two wives to begin with. Okay, he has... That's his second wife. It's interesting that... It's interesting that he... You know, that that wife didn't move up. Can I not propose a marriage to him? No, I suppose not. Because we don't believe in polygamy, probably. That's probably it. So we'll just, you know, wait on our claim. Speed things up a bit. Hopefully the old crown authority isn't high enough. It may be too high. Uh, 
Oh, my daughter. Also a great diplomat. There's Jesus there. Sheshna. I do want you to do a matrilineal marriage. All these people are too closely related. So if it's matrily, matrilineal, he should come and live with us now. Hmm, poachers. Suppose since he had a landed title. I guess. Oh no. I died. I died. Well, that stinks. No. Uh. Decline. This is war. Call forth the mercenaries. I'm going to nominate Joel. Oh my, intrigue is terrible. Gonna need more mercenaries than that. No. More.
Ugh. These things are not good. Not good at all. Well, this may be the end. Well, they don't have enough people to break the siege there. Sorry, I'm not talking much. It's just very stressful here. Somehow I knew this day would come. But I did not expect it to be like this. You know, if 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 they can't break the siege there and they're not going to attack me, then I mean, I have a ticking war score here. They'd accept a white piece. Okay, so they'll take a white piece at the moment. That's a good name for a kid, Osher. What's he like? He's ill. Great. If we can get, I mean, if things are gonna stay like this, then, well, if, if we can get the demands out of him, then that would help. I feel like this whole series is just impossible situations that somehow Somehow we managed to get through. And that seems to be the case here. Okay, the Byzantines are attacking at just the right time for me. Oh man, he's terrible. He's really bad. Is she related to me? No. You can marry her. Well, I can't do any marriages right now. It's kind of annoying. Asher may be the person who we end up having be the heir. As long as he isn't terrible. <laughs> Get back at it, man.
Can you tell this guy to stop this? See, if we enforce our demands, it's a disgrace to him. He loses his titles and everything. I mean, he has to abdicate for his son. Which isn't the best possible thing. But, eh, I suppose it helps. Why, why do you keep going crazy here? Oh no. We have to do white piece. Oof. Do Joel for now. Get you married here. To ba Boskin. Could use the cash, yes. Oh man, that was that was nerve wracking indeed. Okay, keep at it. Not again. No truce in a freaking white piece? Okay, hurry. Before we run out of cash. I don't think he's anyone important, unfortunately. Come on, get in there. Okay, now we got the strong claim that we need.
Well. I don't see much that we can do here. We're bankrupt. Surrounded by enemies at all sides. Amir Aiken. He will not accept peace. <clears throat> Who knew that after so many generations, it would all end here? Yeah, I've seen all this kind of stuff before, so. And it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm in prison now, so very soon he will revoke the title, and it's game over. Well, we had a score of 3,693, made it to the year 992. We beat the House of Godwin. That's something, right? So... Oh, that's annoying because it's a uh, freaking temporary title. It doesn't show the rest of our people here. Well, that's annoying. Okay, so here's Apollonius and and Philippos there and Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this series. I kind of knew from the beginning that it was futile, but it is absolutely amazing to me that we made it. I can't remember the exact start date, though. The old God's start date. It's been like 150 odd years or so without any allies, any other people to support us of our religion, and being beset by other religious groups like crazy we've had so many attempts to revoke our stuff and we always kept it until now well my friends i hope you enjoyed this series it is the first ck2 series that i have done but i do not intend for it to be the last i thought this was a unique idea uh, but i think next time i'll pick something a little more doable because I'm not quite as terrible at this game as this playthrough might have you believe. But, uh, yeah. It was tough. Let me tell you that. It was tough. So, I'm just glad to have gotten this far. So, I hope you'll stay tuned and uh, check out the other series while I think about what my next CK2 uh, playthrough will be. So, we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.